So welcome to Saturday Afternoon with Larry. We, um, Lenny's been wanting to make some Italian sausage. I made it a long time ago and we're gonna take another crack at it. Uh, we have got four pounds of Boston butt and I've got two pounds of bacon and we're gonna grind it together and I'm gonna add my seasoning and make some Italian sausage. We're gonna let it sit for about one to two hours so those seasonings uh, get all married in with the meat. We'll mix it again, and then we're gonna stuff it in our natural casings. So if you're interested in the seasonings that I'm using, this is a base, this is my um, start. And if you'd like to write these down, I've got uh, two tablespoons of fennel, uh, eight tablespoons of red wine vinegar, two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of garlic minced, two tablespoons of onion, three tablespoons of, make that six tablespoons of parsley, a one tablespoon of red pepper flakes. We don't like our meat uh, really hot, so we're only cutting it back to one tablespoon. Four tablespoons of brown sugar, two tablespoons of paprika, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of thyme, and two teaspoons of basil. So I have all of those things already measured out over here. And this is waiting for the meat to get um, done in the grinder and then we'll put all that together and let it set. So let me show you, this is my trusty KitchenAid grinder and this is the grinding wheel that we've got. I've got it on a coarse grind. This is my pork butt and my bacon and we will start grinding. When you make this, the reason you use a Boston butt is because it's got a lot of fat in it, and the fat is where the flavor comes from. So if you do have, say you have some extra pork ribs, always try to get a piece of meat that's got extra fat. So this is all of our um, pork butt, bacon, and I just added it back to the original container so that I can get uh, my hands in it a little better. So this is my minced garlic and my vinegar, and I'm going to add that. You don't want to work the meat too much right now because um, you don't want it to get overworked. Just going to add these seasonings. What was that you just put in? That was more of the vinegar. And this is my salt, red pepper flakes, pepper, oregano, basil, brown sugar, fennel, parsley, um, paprika. I've measured everything out to begin with in case I need to um, make some adjustments. I don't want to put it in the meat if I over, over measure. Um, also, this is going to be my base. And... Um, you can do anything to this. What I'm gonna do is after we get all this 
um, mixed up and it sits for, you want it to sit for one to two hours, it would be best. Um, but then I'm gonna divide it into um, three groups. I'm gonna have an original Italian sausage. I plan on making some Italian sausage with um, um, pine nuts and um, the tomatoes. What are we talking about, Lenny? What Caprici. Yeah, it was a Caprici blend that we were gonna do. Oh, the sun-dried tomatoes, yes. So we're gonna, of course, chop some sun-dried tomatoes and pine nuts. We'll take um, a third of this and we'll add that into it and mix that together. And then the other, we will stuff in our natural casings that we got from the butcher this morning. So I'm just gonna mix this and let it sit for one to two hours. So here's where I've mixed everything together. I've incorporated it with the bacon and the pork and all of the seasonings. So now I'm just gonna let it rest. I'm gonna put a piece of plastic over it, put it in the refrigerator so it stays cool because I don't want it to start um, getting too warm and get the kitchen cleaned up. And then in a couple hours, we will um, stuff our casings. So if you like this video, like and share, uh, please subscribe, and we will see you on the next go round. Part two will be coming up next. Thank you for joining us at Life with Larry.